Welcome back. It's another episode of Ballin' With. Guys, we're still continuing preseason week one highlights for the NFL. Without further ado, let's hop right on into it. Tennessee Titans versus Justin Field and the I'm also watching uh, LA Ram versus Chargers right now. Okay, this is Trey Blake's crew, but Alex Kemp is the lead official. There is no foul on the play. The touchdown. <laughs> I'm just going to click random stuff and something I'm sure is going to come to me because that's, you know, what I love about this kit. <laughs> Yeah, a little RPO action for the Tennessee Titans. Pulls it out of the running back's gut. And here you see right there. That's what TJ Edwards, it looked like he hooked. He's a really good change of pace back. Better at blocking and better at catching the football. Here I'm recording a video for YouTube, my reaction on my NFL highlights. Oh, go back to that. I've seen this play live, so I had to replay it. Hold up, hold up. My beach just came downstairs. I didn't. Tell my YouTube journey. All right, let's get it. Ush. That wasn't even a good throw either, Justin. You know it. DJ Moore is that dude. He's a dog. He's a bear. You won't get him. The throw was like in my man's outside of his knee to a shin ankle. You gotta catch it. And if he didn't probably catch it like that, that probably one second delay. Help him get that block and still forward. So, good job, man. Bears defense looking good, too, man. They got, um, I got his first name, but Edmund, bro. Linebacker from the Bills, so. Bears got that. And Montgomery, bro. Not Montgomery, Herbert. I'm thinking of. Montgomery? Who is it? On the Bears. David Montgomery. I don't know if he still plays for him. I thought that was him, but Herbert. They got another running back in him, too. That's a field game running. They have the Bears' um, favorite to win their division, which is kind of... Why'd you touch that, bro? Good bounce, bro. You go, you walk away from that, bro. I didn't jump over 10 feet in the sky, bro. Ain't no way you come down and when people ain't with you, you call a fair catch. You should get a fair catch and then caught it. Um, but yeah, though, they have. Oh my god, bro. I don't know about a turtle. Um, yeah, they have the they have, they have the Bears winning that division over the Packers, over the Minnesota Vikings, who I think should win the division. Uh, and the Detroit Lions. Actually, no, the Detroit Lions is number one. Then it's Minnesota Vikings. And then I think it's Chicago. Or Packers in Chicago. It's crazy. But that division is kind of hard. Uh, it can go either Lions, uh, Vikings in my eyes, um, and Bears are a super team too. They can, be, they can be pretty good. Good touchdown. Oh no, they tied it up. Okay. Tennessee. Yeah, you just went over the top. I had a tight. Here's the thing. I think I had a tight. No, actually, I did have a tight. They lost. I can't remember. I'm gonna show you some specific ways. Bro, get your look alike man off my screen, bro. Now, let's say your beat feet. All that, all that advertisement, bro. We just trying to make content, bro. We ain't trying to sell nothing. We ain't trying to. Well, I'm here with y'all, bro. We need entertainment. We need to create or consume. But I'm gonna create content or whatever. We want to consume it. In this world of digital age, this state of facts, guys. 
definitely jarred it. That, that oh. helmet was right on the ball. I think that, that's a loose ball. It's Bears ball, ball indeed. Yeah, it's play out. Ooh. Target is better. Yeah, right sure is that there. He's able to escape to the right. Travis Gibson again got some penetration. Force him really good. I think they've been, um, we'll check the marker. There's a very heavy nickel. Switching them out. Luke Willis and Will Levis. But it's kind of bizarre to me, too. Um, Will Levis was a good pickup last year. Um, third round, I believe. Malik Willis, not uh, Will Levis. That's it. One to two, but... I think, really, I think he had some improvement. Uh, he won some games. Uh, you know, they should have kept going with him and built that up. But now, he just going to break that connection and chemistry with the team. And, you know, draft another rookie quarterback that was projected pretty high. Um, they talk about his mechanics, but I don't think he's really that well off either. Kind of probably the, the same player. But I do think Will Evans is better. Um... That will level, I do think Malik Willis is better. Will Levin has to see a little bit more from him. Um, they both pick the game, I believe. And uh, maybe accuracy and speed. So it's because, you know, Malik Willis got the speed and maybe uh, the arm. But both of them got strong arms. So, so I thought I say it's kind of similar. Uh, only thing is, uh, Malik Willis played for like Liberty. He didn't play for like. Um, you no, know, the SEC. They were at Kentucky, falling with the SEC team. So that is a you know, or kind of vice versa, but uh, or something to look at. But uh, Ryan Tannehill is not the answer. De DeAndre Hopkins, Tennessee Titans is not the answer, bro. Why don't you even go there? No question for you, bro. You see the video at DeAndre Hopkins. What was the deciding factor of you choosing Tennessee Titans. And for me, honestly, niggas is niggas. I mean, wanting to be close to Memphis, bro. Ain't no cap. Why would you go to Tennessee? He talking about quarterback. He ain't never had a quarterback. Sean Washington was a quarterback. He talking about that. With the throwing game and run the ball, do everything he could do. That was his best bet. Him for the Texans and Sean Washington. It was Merck. It was really good. Um, but now, hopefully y'all better than what y'all were as, as a Texans, bro. Or the Cardinals, at least. That play call, Kyler Murray, just running around looking like a little, little rascal. Like, he was running around like a chicken, cut his leg, or hit up or something, bro. Like, running fast. Oh yeah, yeah, they so they tightened. Luke Willis messed the game up, bro. No, actually, they was on the three yard line, bro. It was a flag. Ball start. They so pushed him back. So that pushed him back was that play that just happened. But it was uh, let's go back to it. This play, they were on the three yard line, bro. bro. Third down. So it was. They actually got back in the red zone, was on like second and three, bro. And this play happened. They got pushed back to the 10, or was holding whatever it was. The fourth and eight. And then y'all scored a touchdown, bro, and you dropped the ball, bro. I think it was out of bounds anyway, but nonetheless, I did lose money on them, but I did win on the others. And now you put this man back in. And he throws a pick. Like, who are you throwing to? That's what I want to know, too. And look at that, bro. Yo, who was he throwing the ball to, though? Literally, because this guy is right here. That guy, this guy is right here by the 20 yard line and the hash mark. He threw it in the middle of the hashes. Um, it like. threw it over there. This man is right there, bro. Alright. Yeah, but like I said, Malik Willis is better. They shouldn't even draft it. Will Levis. Quarterback room controversy. It's Ryan Tannehill's last season this year. They're going to be quarterback battles. One of them going to get like a, One of them going to have a big in their field career. Don't see him panning out. Uh, without further ado, guys, thank you for uh, tuning in with us. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe for this Tennessee Titans and Chicago Bears matchup. Uh, we got more preseason highlights coming. Uh, stay tuned and thank you.
Expand your team with